It has been thrilling to see both the boys and girls soccer teams do so well this winter. Both teams went undefeated for many weeks and hopes are high for state championships. They are playing with confidence, gusto, and a sense of team spirit that helps these young men and women work together on the field and off. It's easy to celebrate athletics at Newman. Sports teach invaluable lessons. They promote a lifetime of fitness, and they do more to boost school spirit and a sense of community than almost anything else we do. 2008-2009 has been a terrific year so far for the Greenies. After a slow start, the boys' basketball team is making great strides this season and are undefeated so far in district play. The football team made it to the playoffs again, and the seniors boast a 26-9 record for their high school careers. Jeffrey Hampton caught more passes for more yards and for more touchdowns than any player in Newman history, and Wes Luquette threw more touchdowns than any Greeny in history. The volleyball team continues to impress. The 2007 state champions made it to the semifinals this year. Taylor Reese was recognized as an all-state player. We have an all-American swimmer in junior Christian Reese. He's the third Newman all-American swimmer in three years. And an eighth grader, Angel Charbonnet, won state in the 100 breaststroke. The boys' cross-country team finished first in district competition for the 13th year in a row. David Martin was all-state. The girls finished fifth, and senior Shannon Yankovic placed in the top 20 at state. More than 80% of Newman upper schoolers play a sport. There is no denying that athletics are a large and hallowed part of life at this school. Athletics is one of the richest veins in Newman's very rich history. Dig into it, and you will find a wealth of did-you-knows. Like, did you know Newman has over 75 state championships? Do you know Francis Soika, who escaped Nazi-occupied Czechoslovakia in 1939 and was Newman's tennis coach for decades? His courtly manner, floppy hat, and trademark playing style impacted generations of New Orleans tennis players. How about coach Ed Skeets Tui? He came to Newman in 1960, and Newman began routinely winning state basketball championships. Bobby Lane, class of 64, was named most valuable player in the state. Did you know that coach Anthony Reginelli, whose tough but fatherly approach changed lives, used to say after a game, let this win go to your heart, not your head. Joanne Skirtich came to Newman having never played, let alone coached volleyball, but in 1977 she started a team. The girls have since won 16 state championships, more than any other Newman team. And you know coach Billy Fitzgerald, Newman's legendary basketball and baseball coach. But did you know that when he played basketball for Jesuit, he participated in what is widely believed to be the first integrated basketball game in New Orleans against St. Aug? Did you know Coach Fitz was drafted by the Oakland A's to play in the minor leagues? And then there are the players. Have you heard of Randy Livingston, class of 1993? He was a two-time All-American, National High School Player of the Year, and played in the NBA. Johnny Lovell, class of 85, is an Olympic sailor who won a silver medal in 2004. Of course, we all know the Mannings, Cooper, Peyton, and Eli. Peyton and Eli were back-to-back -back Super Bowl MVPs. There are dozens of Newman athletes who have had great success on college teams, including Erica Dagg, who swims for the University of California, Berkeley, Lauren Miaton, 05, who plays basketball for Purdue, and Lizzie Fitzgerald, 98, who is an All-American volleyball player at Wisconsin. Coach Fitz, now our athletic director, says this about sports. Being part of a team is crucial. Together you go through the trials and the tribulations and the highs and the lows. Together you work so hard to achieve a goal, and sometimes you're successful and sometimes you're not. That is such an important life lesson. The great thing about Newman is the interplay between athletics and academics. I don't think you'll find a place in the nation that does that any better. <laughs>